This is a Rotel RCD 930 that came in for repair a while ago. Now I've actually repaired it and I'm not going to go into details as to how I found the fault simply because it's been covered by other people on YouTube quite thoroughly. This is actually the faulty unit which I took out and it is in fact the laser driver and uh, lens assembly. Bearing in mind this CD player is some 25 years old. I had cause to try and repair one of these at that time when it was only about three or four years old and the only way you could get these modules was direct from ironically Sony because um, they come under various names as I said this is a Rotel but the same module is used in some Marantz, some Philips and a lot of Sony's but if you try and buy this module from them directly it costs so much money it, it's it's not economical to touch it now I got this off eBay as an unbranded unit but it, it is actually exactly the same one as all these manufacturers use they clearly don't make it themselves they just stick their well in the case of Sony they stick their label their name on it here somewhere if I recall um, but it's a case of one size fits most there are various types of this module available and rather wonderfully the manufacturer clearly puts the part number in this case it's a KSS 210A and it costs now silly silly money I think from memory this was about six New Zealand dollars but I'll put a link on to where I got this thing from postpaid it actually came in a week all the way from China to New Zealand which I thought was pretty good now the point of this video is to actually tell you about a couple of problems I found on these modules now the first one is is not exactly a problem but it's something the part supplier doesn't tell you about and if you don't know you'll never get it to work and this is the problem if you can see where I'm pointing there's two parts of the track which are clearly open now when you receive this module there will be a solder bridge across that and it's to stop the basically stop it stop the machine moving in transit and it's probably a safety aspect I'm not sure exactly what it is but when you get these they will always have a solder bridge across there and if you connect it up luckily it doesn't blow up it just doesn't work so you need to get a solder iron and just wipe down and then test with the meter to make sure that the contacts are in fact open from each other this is another issue that I've encountered on the new replacement modules and it concerns these sockets I've had two now where the sockets aren't flush with the board and the first one I had I didn't really notice it and when you come to push the uh, ribbon cable into it because it isn't flush it pushes down on there and lifts the contacts from the PCB it actually opens them completely but usually it just cracks around the solder connections so you have to resolder the connections now this one is the actually the the one I removed from the unit and it's the faulty one but you can clearly see that the manufacturers have done a proper job on there and it's flush but the new ones the manufacturers have got sloppy and they're not pressed down well now in an ideal world you'd think uh, I'll just take that screw out and then I'll have access and can solder these and push the unit down but it's not quite as simple as that because you've got these small ribbon cables here which don't have much leeway so what I've done in the past if the connections aren't broken I've actually put a little bit of arrow die so that it's held firmly and when I press the ribbon cable in I support the unit because once it's in place there won't be an issue it's just the very act of pressing the plug into the socket that causes it to pull pull the contacts down other than that it's a very event free and as I say many people have shown how this how to fault find on this so I don't propose to go into that 
but it's something I think you should know um, which could save you many hours because the very first one that I put in at that time I didn't know about the solder connection and I couldn't work out why it didn't work and it was only through looking at it very carefully I noticed that this one was open and of course then you get it all put back together and it still doesn't work and that's when you notice it's it's lifted the tracks this is where I purchased the item in real money it's two pounds fifty seven including free postage I mean that is a ludicrous price for what it is and you, you couldn't assemble the parts for that there yeah, I was almost concerned about buying from them because their feedback isn't very good at 98.7 percent but um, they were very fast with me and as I say it came within a week and per the products perfect apart from the manufacturing defects which is not really their fault The proof of the pudding.